married young. I have five children, but one of my children was a mystery to me because when she was 11 years old and in the fifth grade, she was in the public school and doing her, her standard testing and, and although she was a bright child, I couldn't figure out why her test scores were low when they would come back. I was wondering, she's in school, she's learning, she's making A's, but she couldn't remember long term what she had learned. And there were some other things happening that we couldn't explain either. At home, she was melting down like five times a day, and she was the drama queen, taking a lot of my attention in an inappropriate way. You know, she would behave lots younger than 11 years old, and we couldn't understand that. And although I am a certified teacher in the state of Texas and have years of experience teaching, I couldn't solve and unravel this mystery. So it was at this point that providentially, I think, I found the neurodevelopmental approach and had my daughter Mercy evaluated and found out that she was at a maturity level of age four. We did the short-term memory testing and found out that she could only remember four pieces of information at a time. Well, that kind of explained why she was a, an 11 year old child, but acting like a four year old. On the playground, oh my goodness, she couldn't function on the playground with the other children. Well, what happened was that we put her on a program and in four months, oh my goodness, she came up to a six-year-old level. Now, you may not think that's much, but at my house, oh my goodness, it was the difference between her ability to stay at home without freaking out because she, before she couldn't stay at home alone, she would freak out. But now she had the maturity, the global maturity that happened when she came up in her ability, uh, her short-term memory and her processing ability. So we were thrilled at her progress. This translated to her grades and her ability to function in school and socially. And so we were very, very pleased with her and with the neurodevelopmental approach. And today she's doing high school now and remembering what she reads and what she learns.